everyone. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're ready for some more holiday wreath making. Um, I have so many supplies. I have so much stuff to make so many beautiful wreaths. So let's get down to the table and see what we're going to play with today. Okay, so I've got everything sort of laid out. Now one thing I like to do when I'm going to do a wreath is I take all my stuff, I sort of lay it out, sort of dry run, make sure it all looks pretty together before I start. Because I may want to change what ribbon I'm using, I may want to change what background I'm using, I may want to rearrange or add a different pick. And once I get something I like, then we're ready to go. So I'm going to move my little bundles. Now on this one we're going to do a side bow with my beautiful ribbon. But we're going to start with the red deco mesh for our wrapping to do our background. So, when you're going to wrap with deco mesh, please make sure you have your handy dandy silicone brush. You do not want to be burning your little fingers. Take your deco mesh, line it up, get your hot glue, and we're going to put a nice band of hot glue down here on the metal and on the mesh. And then we're going to use our silicone brush to push deco mesh into itself. We're using the brush and not our fingers because we like our fingers and we do not want to burn them because believe me it'll go right through that deco mesh and take out your fingers. Okay and we can flip it back around and we can start our wrapping. Now you are likely to get only about halfway, maybe a little more with a roll. So once you get to the end of the roll, you're going to put some glue down. You're going to push that end of the roll into the glue and cut your excess. And that's where you're going to start your second roll. It will take more than one roll. You could do it in one roll if you had something else underneath the deco mesh, so you could spread the deco mesh out thinner. But if you're only using deco mesh, you're going to need that second roll. We're going to put glue right where the first roll ended and onward we go. get near your beginning spot you want to make sure you go past your beginning spot because it's of course very thin where you started because you weren't wrapping over it as much put your glue down pull it over nice and tight make sure you press in that glue 
and then cut off your excess. that sit and dry for a minute we're going to start on our bow so I'm going to move this a little bit out of the way and we're going to go down here to the bottom of my mat you'll see I've got measurements here so we've got two different ribbons so you always measure out your ribbon ahead of time I did not so, we're going to switch to this red ribbon. Okay, so we're going to take 118 of each and put it to the side. So that's going to work on our tails. And we're going to take our handy stapler and we're going to staple our rings. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my piece of silicone, silicone here. I'm going to start with our largest ring. I'm going to find the center. We're going to put some glue in the middle and press that down. Our next largest ring, again, find the center. So we have even bows on the side of that staple zone. We're gonna put some glue on the center here. I'm gonna press that down. And some glue in the middle. that down Am I gonna so every time you're gonna find that center and you're gonna make a slight change in the angle of your ribbon not going to use that tiniest one. I'm going to end with this one. Alright, then we're going to work on our tails. into an X. 
It's about even. Find the center. Doing something a little different. So we're going to put some glue in the middle. Glue those two together. Put some glue in that center again. And take our bow and press that right in the middle there. So that's looking pretty. And we'll work on fluffing that in just a second. So I'm going to quickly dovetail my ends. Now the reason I did my dovetails coming up both sides is because I'm going to be putting it on the side of the wreath so it can go out both ways. Now if I was putting it at the bottom I'd want my tails just to hang down. But because it's going to be a side bow I decided I want my tails to come out both sides. Let that dry a little. And then we can fluff it a little. So you're going to fluff and fluff and fluff until your bow looks the way you want it to look. Yeah, that guy is a little big in the center there. He's popping up a bit. So hold on, we're going to bring back in the little guy. I'm going to glue. See, you make changes as you go. He's just too big. Alright, that's better. All right, we can fluff some more later. For some reason that's, oh, that's coming apart in the middle. That's what the problem is. Hold on. See, we're moving too fast here and things are coming apart before they're dry. And while it's resting and drying, we can fluff it some more later. So we're gonna put some glue right in the center of this. We're going to set that right there. And like I said, you can fluff later when it's all dry. You don't have to worry about all your fluffing yet. If you fluff too soon and your glue is still wet, you will pull it apart. So I'll let that sit a little more. Try a little more. We're going to work on the other things. So like I said, I already laid out sort of how I want everything to look. So I'm going to pull apart all my parts. And we're going to start with our pretty leaves. So I'm going to just sort of look again as how I want these to fit. Sometimes when you set them down, then you can see, oh, not far enough out for all the other stuff. All right, so that's about where those need to go. So let's glue them in.
Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories. You could hang this this way, um, even though I made it to be hung this way, but I like that. I think I may add a little something to this. Hold on. Okay, I have some jingle bells. We're just going to add a few just to perk this up a bit, just for fun. Wasn't in the original plan, but I always have some extra stuff laying around. You know, if something looks lacking. I can sit here and add a little touch. And just give it that little extra. Okay. So I'm going to let that finish drying and then I'll show you final results. Okay, we have the final results on this one. So there's our little jingle bells we added at the end there. And here's the top where we've got our pretty red shiny balls and our pale beautiful flowers and our beautiful bow and our red flowers with our gold balls. We have that red shiny deco mash and I did put in a red pipe cleaner as a hanger. So there's that one. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, 
subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Happy holidays, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for reindeers.